Alright guys, welcome back. So, we completed the main game of Alien Isolation, and we just did Crew Expendable, which it, you basically play Dallas's section of the movie, but a little bit... There's a little bit more to it, and then at the end... I don't know, it was weird. The, the alien, like, knocks you out, and Ash is standing over you, and you, you have some dialogue there. And then the ending is a kind of... You're going through the medical room. It's just like a medical room like image or whatever. And um, you hear the final lines of dialogue from Ash from the movie. Um, we're going to be doing Last Survivor now. Which is, I believe, the ending of the movie as Ripley. We're gonna blow up the ship. We'll take our chances in the shuttle. Good. We're gonna need coolant for the air support system. Parker! Help Lambert and Parker I've gather I've powered coolant. up the shuttle. Have you got those coolant tanks ready? We're doing it. You wanna give us a hand down here? There's the pod from the end. I got no fuel. Lambert? Lambert! Parker! For Parker, it was a lot more grizzly. Oh, oh God. Same thing with Lambert. Oh, shit. Oh, I like their, uh, thing. Their motion tracker. Please work. 
Thank you. There's something loose on the ship. This unknown organism. It came out of Cain. We just ejected his body out into space. I don't know how Ash missed this thing on the medical scan. It would have been visible. Anyway, he's, he's putting together some sort of tracking device to help us catch it and, and uh, Brett and Parker are rigging up something to, to drive it toward the airlock. But this should never have happened. This is why we have quarantine regulations. For this reason. Do it. Okay, we gotta initiate the destruct sequence. Could you give me like a ton of flamethrower ammo, please? supposed to die here. I know where I have to go, but it's like I can't just do it while it's in the room. But it will not go away. Like, it just keeps going in a damn circle. Keep 
it together. Yep, come back for no reason. Thank you. Right in there, okay. Initiate Nostromo emergency destruct system. Yeah, Rick and Wedding. I know that she does want to send a message to her daughter because she knows that they're not going to make it on time. Again, don't know why there's scrap. Oh, 
Oh, I guess to make a med kit. I think I got pretty lucky right there. How was that fuel? Really self destruct lock.
Like how literally an hour ago we were just doing the same thing as Amanda. It's hilarious. This is it. So, all the way back to that ladder. My question would be like, can I run? You, you know, Ripley ran the entire time during that. I'm not looking up there because you don't have. Danger. I'm going based on the, the emergency goddamn movie. They so can't run. And the aliens the just everywhere. Will detonate in T minus five. Lucky, 
Roger. The emergency destruct system is now activated. The ship will detonate in T minus three minutes. Final report of the commercial starship Nostromo. Third officer reporting. The other members of the crew, Kane, Lambert, Parker, Brett, Ash, and Captain Dallas are dead. Cargo and ship destroyed. I should reach the frontier in about six weeks. With a little luck, the network will pick me up. This is Ripley, last survivor of the Nostromo, signing off. I'll see you soon, Amanda. Be a good girl. I love you. I like that little ending right there so that's um last survivor um i think you probably could have found one or two more logs but that's probably about it anyway i liked both things um the crew expendable added a little thing at the end that was a little weird that wasn't in the movie um but I, I think the crew expendable, I would have liked it better if you played each person when they died. Like, obviously, Ash, that would have been a little weird to be playing, you know, person trying to kill Ripley and then they kill you, but you could do some stuff where you're, like, reporting to Mother and she's telling you stuff. Um, then you could play as Parker, Lambert, Dallas, um... As Brett and um, shoot the, f the first dude that died, I can't remember his name. But either both of those, I guess you couldn't really play because <laughs> they don't really. All you'd be doing with the one is walking through the eggs, and then boom, you get face hugged, which has already happened in the game. And then the other one, you you literally just walk into a place, alien grabs you. There's not because you know before all that. There's really not much going on in the movie, whereas um, I guess Parker and Lambert kind of would have the same same death, so I don't know. You could have done something, I think, with that. And then Last Survivor, you know, I really like that. It's literally mostly just the, the ending of the movie. Um, luckily, it doesn't make you do what Ripley had to do, which was go to the destruction thing and then have to go back and try to... Um, end it you know but anyway i enjoyed it i enjoyed both dlcs and that'll be the end of the alien isolation game and dlcs um i'm hopefully putting this out right before alien romulus comes out and i'd love to do like a review and stuff on that but i'm not um i don't think i'm very good at doing stuff like that so but we'll see um anyway hope you guys enjoyed it and I'll be back with more Alien stuff. We have the Alien vs. Predator game that came out in, like, what, 2009 or something? I really liked it. Um, you play as each one, and then you have Alien vs. Predator, I think only two. Either one or two. I can only get one of them, and I have them, but... Um, so I'll, I'll play that at some point, and then there's Predator Concrete Jungle on the PS2 I have play that at some point um and then aliens fire team elite because they have some story with that and i may do aliens colonial marines at some point but i'm not sure so anyway hope you guys enjoyed it have a great day and i'll see you bye